O'Brien, sir. Chuck O'Brien. My pleasure. He did. I sure did. I had a lot of fun. Alec Nyman. From Washington State. I'm into all the. Before you start, I'd like to present you with the flag that we carried to the summit and the bag of jelly beans. <laughs> to the summit. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm I'm afraid to ask. I know the flag, but I'm afraid to ask if jelly beans help nourish you on the climb. <laughs> You'd be surprised, though. We're beginning to run the government uh, with them. Uh, they uh, they get us through a lot of late afternoon meetings, uh, <laughs> and they'd be surprised at the very important affairs that are being discussed. And the jar of jelly beans is going around the table, <laughs> and we. We always, I'm always interested in seeing the different styles. Some just grab a handful and some pick each one out one at a time or it's passed on. You know, the poet William Blake once wrote, great things are done when men and mountains meet. Well, now, I would add women to that statement. <laughs> and then say, all of you certainly proved him correct, and even more than correct. And so it is with great pride that I accept this flag. By carrying it each step of your climb and planting it on top of Mount Rainier, you also planted courage and the capabilities of disabled people firmly in the minds of all Americans. Your triumph on Independence Day during this international year of disabled persons clearly illustrated the, independ the independence disabled people can achieve when given the opportunity. I take particular pride in, fa in fact that we have on our White House staff someone who also serves as an example of that independence and self-confidence that disabled people can attain. I'm talking about Hal Krentz, who carried this flag to you uh, on our behalf, and I know he would have liked to have been on the mountain with you. Your 11-hour battle with snow, ice, and altitude while carrying 40-pound backpacks demonstrated to all of us that with spirit and determination, challenges are made to be met. We sometimes hear of the faith to move mountains. Well, you have the faith to climb mountains, and that faith is in yourselves. When you came down from that mountain, it wasn't the experience leading the disabled, but rather those who could see leading those who could not, those who could hear, helping those who could not. And the tremendous bond that was forged by this experience where you complemented each other and joined together to accomplish a great goal is a significant lesson on what all of us as Americans can accomplish if we work together. Nancy and I followed your progress and when you reached the top, we with the rest of America shared your joy and were inspired by your courage. And we also must acknowledge the courage of your families, because we saw you, too, on television, and on television heard through the radios, the walkie-talkies that you were carrying, the joy from the top of the mountain, all of you and your shouts as they were heard down below. I know there must have been some tense moments during the climb, and that the support you received from your families was an important element in your success. And I'm sure that Chuck O'Brien's twins will celebrate their birthdays with more than the usual <laughs> sense of pride. The corporations which sponsored this event believed in you. 
we must all work towards seeing that all businesses appreciate the possibilities of the disabled as fully as those gathered here today. As I stated in my February 6th proclamation of the International Year of Disabled Persons, disabled Americans represent one of our most underutilized resources. Your successful Mount Rainier ascent speaks more about the capabilities of our disabled citizens than any words can possibly state. So congratulations and thanks to all of you for what you have shown and given to all of us. And I shall be very proud to keep this flag. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I think I better let you get into some shade now. <laughs> this warm, slightly different climate than Mount Rainier. We should have brought you back part of the glacier. <laughs> right here in the rose garden. Yes. Dry air. Well, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.